All right, so we are finally defining what a topology is. So, a topology is a collection of subsets of a set that satisfy certain properties. Okay, so the elements of the topology um, are sets, and in order for um, that set that we're calling the topology to actually qualify as a topology, first we require that both the empty set and the entire set itself are in the topology. Second, we require that the union of elements in any arbitrary subcollection is also an element of the topology. Um, so that is, if I have um, any number of sets um, that are in this collection of subsets, um, might be infinitely many, might be finitely many, doesn't matter, it's arbitrary. If I take the union of those sets, that new set must be an element of the topology. And similarly, we require the same thing um, for intersections, but here um, it's a little bit of a looser requirement. Um, we only require that finite um, intersections of any subcollection um, are in the topology. So here I'm, I'm not taking the intersection of infinitely many sets, uh, just finitely many sets. And if we have this set with its associated set of subsets that satisfies these properties, we call it a topological space. And we call all those elements of the topology, all those subsets of X that satisfy these properties, open sets. Um, so a subset U of X is said to be open if U is in the topology on X. So let's look at a very, very simple example um, to get a feel for what this means. So we looked at this one in class, um, but just to reiterate, so let's say that our set X is the three element set ABC. Okay, so if I take the topology, say I'm going to call it T0, that just consists of the empty set and the entire set X itself. Well, let's see if this satisfies the conditions for the topology. Definitely um, both the empty set and the entire set are in this collection. If I take the union of the empty set and the entire set X, I'm gonna get the entire set X, which is there. And if I take the intersection of the empty set with any other set, um, I'm gonna get the empty set, so that's there. So this um, collection that just consists of the empty set and the entire set um, is what we call the trivial topology. And this topology will always work um, no matter what set you have. It's trivial because it's not, not very interesting. So let's look at um, some slightly more interesting examples. Um, so let's take a look at this one, I'll call it T1, um, where we have the basically the power set um, of this set X. So it's going to consist of the empty set, our entire set, 
all possible two element sets. So A, B, B, C, A, C, and our one element sets A, B, and C. Now here, if I take the union of any number of these um, subsets, um, I'm going to get something that's in this collection. If I take the intersection of any uh, number of these subsets, I'm going to get something in the collection. Um, so here, the power set is always also going to be a topology. Um, and this topology is what we call the discrete topology. It's also, you know, not the most interesting topology, um, but it definitely does the job. So it's the set of all possible subsets. Now, we don't necessarily have to have all possible subsets in order for something to be a topology. So let's look at um, the following example. So I'm going to call this one T2. Okay. Um, and let's see. Let's maybe take a look at um, something fairly simple, I guess. So, of course, we need the empty set to be there. Um, let's maybe say we're going to take A, B, and A, B, as well as our three elements. Okay, so definitely we satisfy condition number one, both the empty set and the entire set are in this topology. Now let's take a look at unions and intersections. So definitely if I take the union of A and B or the union of A with AB or B with AB, um, I'm going to get this set AB that, that's there. Um, if I take the union of any of those with the entire set, I'm going to get the entire set. So it looks like we're pretty good on unions. And then similarly with intersections, if I take the intersection of A or B with AB, um, I'm going to get A or B, which are there. And if I take the intersection of A and B with each other, I'm going to get the empty set. Um, so this one is a topology um, and it checks out. Let's finally take a look at this collection. Um, maybe call it T3. And I'm going to take the empty set, my three element set. I'm not being very consistent with the order there. Um, the two element set AB and the two element set BC. And let's check to see if this is a topology. Well, definitely we satisfy criterion number one. If I, uh, I've got the empty set and the entire set, let's check for unions. Only kind of weird elements here are A, B, and B, C. And if I take the union of those together, I get the entire set. So we're good there. But let's take a look at intersections. If I take the intersection of this subset with this subset, notice I get a set that's not in my topology. Therefore, this subcollection is not a topology on our defined set X. So we have to be careful, okay? There are a lot of different possibilities um, for topologies that can be defined on a given set, um, but not just any old subset or collection of subsets works. Has to satisfy the criteria.